Today, River Edge Behavioral Health believes they have found a solution to the many blighted homes around Macon Bibb. Our morning reporter, Wanya Reese, joins us live to tell us how tiny houses could make a really big impact. Good morning, Wanya. Good Friday morning, Caitlin and Carly. Well, it's no secret that blight is an issue here in Bibb County, but River Edge hopes to place tiny houses right here on this property to not only help the community, but also help the homeless as well. Driving down Menard Street, you can't miss the overgrown grass on the 900th block. Michael Hill moved onto the street more than five decades ago and says it's time for a change. It's always been a good neighborhood, but you had the ins and outs. And by them building these new homes right here, beautify the neighborhood again, you know. Scott Hatcher with River Edge says five tiny homes could come to their neighborhood if Macon Bibb Planning and Zoning approves the plan, an idea Hill finds fascinating. You know, it'd be nice. Just say, all you need is a little music and a television. <laughs> so you think this is a cool idea? Yeah, and definitely. Hatcher says the 440 square feet homes could house people with disabilities or a low income family. Affordable and, uh, and uh, accessible for people, especially homeless individuals. And so that's what we're going to focus on with these tiny houses. Those who qualify would have to go through an application process overseen by the Salvation Army. That organization would decide if the applicants are a good fit for a tiny house. And if Bibb County approves this rezoning project, River Edge says that they're ready to start construction as soon as September. And one of the first things they're going to do is cut back all of this grass. The bill for the project, $351,000. The U.S. Department of Housing would foot the bill. It's a big investment Hill knows could impact his community. A good thing for the neighborhood altogether. Anytime you replace new with old, it's going to look better. Now, these tiny houses are not going to take long to build at all. Hatcher tells me that they hope to have them done by next April. So that'd be April of 2019. So Carly and Caitlin, before I did the story, I had heard about tiny houses maybe about a month ago, but it's a very interesting concept. Live in Macon, Wanya Reese, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Anya. I've always wanted to just stay in one to see what it's like. Right. Planning and zoning meets on Monday at 1 o'clock. They will discuss the tiny houses project then.